Hey Gemini, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Monday, February 8th. Let's see what's going on with Gemini. The heart of your reading, we have the Three of Pentacles, a collaboration of sorts. Contributing your best to a group project. What's the challenge here for Gemini? Mm, a shared objective is more accurate than a group project. Knight of Cups reversed. I feel like this is you keeping your feelings to yourself again. The challenge is the desire to share how you feel, to act on how you feel, and not doing so. Holding yourself back from acting on what's in your heart. Magician in reverse. It's the feeling that it doesn't matter what I do. I can't. It feels very disempowered. I think the way that you're viewing the situation is that you will be unable to manifest the outcome that you want. The magician, standing in their full power, realizes all of the ab abilities and skills that they have and utilizes them, takes action, follows their intuition, and takes what they know to exist in potential, and they act on that knowledge. They utilize a variety of skill sets. They have all four aces at their disposal, so they've got my, my, body, mind, and spirit all working together and then they take practical action in order to make it happen they know how to manifest what they want into their reality the fact that we have this reverse says you don't know how to manifest it or you're I'm getting more of a sense of, of not feeling able to Show me the recent past for Gemini. What led up to this? Queen of Pentacles reversed. Not attracting the resources that you need or someone not being receptive to you being a nurturer. No, I do feel like this is a lack, another lack of application of skills. I think you are a very nurturing energy. You want to take care of your life. You want to take care of the people that you care about, the people that you love. And you want that in return as well. But the reversal says it's more of this restrained energy. It's like, I don't know how to take care of them or they don't want me to take care of them. They wouldn't want me to take care of them. It's like the desire to support someone, be supportive, be a supportive energy in someone's life, someone that you care about someone that you see potential with but you're not taking action on, someone you have feelings for but you're not acting on those feelings. And then this Queen of Pentacles reversed is also saying like you really want to embrace this person. You want to draw them in. 
and you either feel unable to do so or you're not taking the action necessary. Like, not acting on that impulse. Show me the energy of... More reversed energy. Um, the energy of the environment, we have the sun in reverse. This is cautious optimism. The recognition that tomorrow is always a new day. There's opportunities ahead of you. But there's also kind of the, the heavier side of the sun in reverse, like maybe happiness just isn't in the cards for me. When the potential exists, like the, the sunny day is here, it's just you need to walk toward it. Show me the near future for Gemini. Hermit in reverse. If you or someone that you care about is currently in seclusion or privacy or withdrawn, I do see them coming out of seclusion or you or both of you with a new perspective. Potentially wanting to re-engage with you or re-engage with life. Now, on the, on the extreme shadow end of this interpretation, this could mean you going into like full hermit mode, like committing for the long term, I'm just going to be alone. Guys, I think it is kind of in that direction. The surprise energy we have, the devil. So for those of you who are feeling like happiness, joy might not be possible for me, I'm just going to be alone. I'm going to focus on my own independent happiness and not love. It can be a less, less heavy interpretation. Um, but there's some something a way in which you're holding yourself back that you're going to come face to face with. Now it could be a conscious choice. Like, yes, I know this isn't good for me, but it's what I'm choosing right now. On a, on a separate line of interpretation, the devil can also mean indulging desires, indulging your, your wilder impulses. So you may have opportunities in that regard to just let loose and have fun because we have the three of cups here at the bottom of the deck, which is um, just some, some lighthearted, um, nothing too deep, Nothing too uh, it's just having fun in the moment. You might like drown your sorrows in a, a bunch of junk food. That sort of energy can be the devil energy. Um, Give me more on the devil. What sort of obstacle or self-defeating behavior do we have here for Gemini? Keeping yourself apart from relationships, um, putting your walls up, your defenses against um, a failed relationship or the, the fallout, the emotional consequences of a relationship that 
that you wanted, but you didn't act toward? The, 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 yeah. There was common interest. There was some sort of commitment involved. But there's a whole lot of lack of contribution. Seems like it's on your part. This might also be obsession. The devil can talk about um, obsessing over a past love that didn't work out. Let's move on to your hopes and fears. Ten of Pentacles. This is excellent to see. Hopeful energy. I can have the life that I want. You're hopeful that someday soon you will build, be building the, the life and the future that you want, whether that's independently, whether it's with someone else. It depends on what you want from life. It's feeling self and safe and secure and accomplished. Like all of the people and all of the things that are necessary for your fulfillment would be drawn into your life. Show me the end result for Gemini. Eight of Swords reversed, Tower in reverse. You're going to have an opportunity to release some negative thinking and it's going to come from an unexpected source it's going to be sudden a flash of inspiration give me more on the tower they're giving me like They're giving me a Superman reference. Destroying the Fortress of Solitude. This is very Mind Palace energy. The destruction of one's own, like hiding away in your head. Yeah. Um, the King of Swords is a very outwardly focused energy. What I'm seeing here is the uh, the ending of finality to a very inwardly focused energy. Mentally, um, yeah, I hope that the familiarity with that term, the fortress of solitude, um, it, let me see if I can explain it another way for those of you who are not familiar. It's like a pretty old movie, but it's Superman, so maybe people are familiar. It's a classic. It's like retreating into your head retreating into a happy place, your comfort zone. I want to be alone with my own thoughts and sharing my thoughts with anyone else is not my comfort zone. It's like walls up. Nobody gets to know what I'm thinking but me. So it's the release of that energy and the more um, I'm confident in acting on what I know, acting on my thoughts, acting on my beliefs, and communicating them. 
from a confident, um, established standpoint. They want me to describe it in another way, and I'm not sure how to go about that. The King of Swords isn't afraid to share what he thinks and believes because he knows his own authority to make decisions over his own life is unquestionable. Anyone who comes to the King of Swords seeking information or insight or advice he will share. He will say, oh, this is what I think about this, and isn't worried about whether that person's going to agree or disagree. Whatever anyone else thinks of the King of Swords' opinions does not affect the King of Swords at all. He's very wise and he has a lot of important knowledge to share. And that's the energy that you'll be embodying versus what I'm seeing with the Eight of Swords reversed, Tower reversed, is this um, getting stuck in your own head, repeating the same thoughts, a lot of which just aren't true, and kind of taking that energy and locking it up and setting it on fire and then it, it it's like metaphorically the phoenix rising from the ashes would be you in your strong suit in a a comfortable state of mind a secure strong state of mind Show me advice for Gemini. King of Pentacles reversed, Nine of Swords. In order to get to the life that you want, you need to start from where you are. If you feel destabilized and you feel afraid or doubtful or insecure, that's the point at which you need to start moving forward. How can they do this? Give me... Anything that's keeping you in a state of mind of fears, doubts, and insecurities is not the path forward. That's not where your strength is. That's not the foundation upon which to build your life. It's the starting point. If you're feeling that way, you need to launch yourself out of that. That's, that's the energy that needs to be metaphorically burned to the ground. So you're the phoenix that rises from the ashes and, and moves into a new, a new direction. If you are dealing with a Capricorn, if you're dealing with a Capricorn and they have you feeling stressed or worried or insecure, that could be the root of your issues. We also have a pair on the board here. So we have the lovers and we also have the king and queen of pentacles. So we may be talking about a karmic partner 
or twin flame relationship, but it's stifled. It's, it's more unfulfilled desire, not acting on your desire. And now we have your energy at the bottom of the deck, Page of Swords, communicate. This is the starting point that gets you to the King of Swords. It's not real helpful advice, but this is what they're giving me. Maybe it is helpful, and I'm just not seeing how it's going to resonate with you guys. But it's saying, you feel destabilized, you feel worried and anxious, and you feel... unable to act and move toward what you truly want. This is your starting point. Gemini, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you back tomorrow.